Dungeons and Dragons The Druids Call. This is a new prequel novel uh, to the new movie Honor Among Thieves, which uh, I saw already. I have a review up on my channel. I also reviewed the prequel comic. There's another prequel book that I also intend to review, but I wanted to start with this one. Uh, I really appreciate that they made this one a uh, a uh, character uh, book prequel thing <laughs> uh, that you can read because the whole gang of of the of the uh, adventurers in the new movie. I guess I'm gonna do some mild spoilers. Nothing that will. So I will say I'm gonna say things about the movie that if you don't want to know anything about the movie. It won't ruin the movie for you, uh, but it will just give you more context to why this book is a great book that continues off of the movie and expands some things. So this character in the movie is played by Sophie Ellis. I think that's how your name Ellis Ellis. Um, she's she's a very famous child actress. She was in uh, It. Uh, she played the main girl in It, and now she's an adult now playing this character, but. Uh, Still very childlike because this character basically is like half human, half other things. Uh, if you've seen the trailer, there's an owl beast. She turns into the owl beast, and they and they give some context to why that happens in the movie because I believe that's not actually okay to the rules of D and D, like the game, but in the movie it's a thing. Anyways, I sound like such a nerd trying to explain this, but anyways, in the movie. Uh, that she is the least amount of character. Everybody else kind of knew each other. That's kind of why. So they already had an established dynamic of why they why they get along, why they act the way they do towards each other. She's the newcomer to the group. She's fun in the movie, and she does her job, and she definitely does help out the movie, but she has the least amount of character. The only thing that was established about her is she didn't really like humans, and we get some context to that with her being an orphan, her having these experiences with humans, and what all that means. And her whole backstory, which is lightly touched upon in the movie, but this is fully expanded here. And that's good. Because, again, she had the least amount of character. She kind of needed this book to expand things about her character. So that's why I'm kind of happy I just waited to read these books after the movie came out. I got this book off of Amazon for $15. It's got a very nice cover to it. It's about... It's about 284 pages, so 284 page book for $15. It's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, I doubt it will get much lower to that, maybe 13, 12 bucks. But if you really are excited about this movie or you've seen the movie already, like I did at an early screening, because they've had many of those, this book is a great sequel and companion piece to that movie and just a great follow up to a character that. You know, while it served her purpose well in the movie, definitely needed more. And I'm excited to see uh, what else they do with these line of books. There's only two of them. I don't really know what the other one's about. I've heard it's more of a direct sequel to the movie than, or not sequel, prequel to the movie. Unlike this one, which just kind of tells you a backstory of this character that, again, was lightly touched upon in the first movie. But that's about it. It's a, it's a, it's a decent book. And I think it's a fun adventure book. I actually think this was better than the comics, which I usually don't think that about these kind of like books uh, that are sequels to things like that. But I think they actually did a better job of really expanding something that I thought was interesting. I wanted to know more about th these characters after I watched the movie because that's how good the movie was. And so I really enjoyed that.